We have a question from Michael, and it actually ties into what I've been talking about. Michael says, I have been thinking about the term uh, dialectical recently, uh, referring to how two seemingly opposing ideas can both be true. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Oscar Wilde spoke on this. Uh, anybody who's ever done theology, one of the first things you learn is either or is one of the lowest level of thinking. I'm sure that's true in every field. Um, what instances of this have you dealt with in training and how do you reconcile the two seemingly contradictory stances? For example, I recently heard a podcast where you mentioned the balance between the positive good form versus the inefficiency of those who are, are too strict in seeking perfect form. Oh, well, uh, this is why I always recommend the book by Marty Gallagher called Purposeful Primitive. And of course, Marty is not only a phenomenal strength coach and a wonderful power lifter himself, Olympic lifter, and, uh, and just, a, just a great person. I, I love Marty. In his book, Purposeful Primitive, he actually discusses this in deep detail. For example, he recommends in the book that you follow the recommendation of some of the bodybuilder guys who recommend six meals a day. Okay. But here's the funny thing. He says, do that for a month and then do a month of uh, that warrior diet -y kind of uh, uh, fasting where you eat one meal a day, one very extended meal a day. And do that for a month. So wait a sec, which one's right? Well, the answer is both are right. Both have great value to being a human. Um, that's why I'm such a big fan of the traditional coaching methods that many of these modern coaches have gotten away from where we did have a period for what we used to call it accumulation where you would play different sports and different games and have some laughs and uh, uh, get out there and do some things. Uh, you know, so you're, you know, you've got your throwers out there playing, uh, volleyball. You got your, uh, you know, your swimmers playing, um, Frisbee, um, because, you know, you, you accumulate, well, is it going to help them in the pool? Well, maybe it won't help them swim faster to keep their head straight, you know, uh, especially in swimming, as I understand it, people get the gold medal and they never go back to the pool for the rest of their life. You know, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, in my world of weightlifting, there's no question that like, well, Marty has this idea where you lift one day a week uh, on Sunday, you, uh, let's see, I think it's squat, bench press, deadlift, and you make your numbers. Uh, this week is eight, next week are fives, the week after are threes. And the other days of the week, all you do is walk and makes you uh, eat quality food. Does one day a week weightlifting work? Yeah, for Marty's people, it does. Uh, I recommend uh, for a lot of people lifting with the easy strength protocols, you do the same lift five, six, seven days a week. And you do that, you know, for a, a couple of weeks. Well, after that, it's a real good idea to go to one lift a day, which is instead of doing um, snatches five, six, seven days a week, you snatch one day a week. And that's all you do that workout. It's called one lift a day. And um, no, I, I have no issue with this, uh, this kind of thinking. In fact, I actually, I think I encourage it. Uh, I like the rub between opposing uh, good ideas. Uh, that's the problem I have politically in the United States. You know, I'm one of those strange people. There are very few of us anymore. We're called moderates. We actually think there's values to both sides of the discussion. And yet when I hear the lunatics on TV talking, um, and it's gotten crazy, uh, I sometimes feel like ne neither of those two people re uh, uh, represent what, what I believe. Any divisive, divisive topic, uh, that 1% lunatic fringe always dominates because they make much better. You know, I, I mean, I'd love to, I mean, it's, we, it's called the fox and the hedgehog and it's worth, leading, you know, it's uh, very simply... The fox has many tricks. The hedgehog has one, and you know there's a lot been a lot of hedgehogs in our uh, in our industry. You know, you could say Arthur Jones with his Nautilus. You know, very quickly. You know, very when he first started his ideas on high intensity, he was a barbell guy, and then realized that, you know, as we all know, that making writing articles doesn't make a lot of money, but selling machines does. And so they answered all questions. You're a sprinter one set to failure. You're a thrower, one set to failure. You're a football player, one set to failure. And boy, that stuff works for about six weeks and it's an absolute failure. Um, some of our CrossFit brothers and sisters uh, usually say the workout that shall not be named. Uh, I forgot to say trademark. Uh, oh my God. Uh, 
I want to be an 800 meter runner, CrossFit, over there, CrossFit. I was just with a guy this weekend who's had, he was a very good CrossFitter. And the only problem he has now is the number of surgeries he had to get through to undo all the damage. Um, I know sometimes in my career, I've done the same thing. Olympic lifting was the answer to all questions. By the way, I was right back in when I first started coaching. Olympic lifting for fat loss works. Um, it does. Uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, I just, I just kept throwing Olympic lifting as the answer to everything. So, yeah, I have no issue with uh, listening to either or arguments. But most of us who take even half a moment to think about it realize quickly that um, the answer is going to be more the both and. Both sides are right and both sides are wrong. And uh, it's the job of the big kids to, uh, to deal with that. Uh, good question, Michael. Thank you. Dialectics.